Welcome to the webbikeworld.com quick video tour of the Shoeberth C3 motorcycle helmet. Please visit webbikeworld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this helmet and over 140 more. This is our second review and video of a Shoeberth C3, but this review features the new Shoeberth SRC or Shoeberth Rider Communications Bluetooth intercom system. Not much has changed on the C3 itself, so first we'll take a quick look at the details of the C3 and then focus mostly on the SRC system for the rest of the video. The Schuberth SRC is a very unique system and concept. The entire Bluetooth intercom system is built into a replacement neck roll or collar that fits into the helmet, and the SRC can be added to any Schuberth C2, C3, or concept helmet by purchasing the SRC kit. This C3 is in the high visibility yellow color, which doesn't show quite as accurately in the video and photos, but in reality is a bright yellowish green. The helmet has the typical excellent Schuberth quality, and we're fortunate enough to have two helmets. The one on the left is a size large, labeled as fitting a 58 to 59 centimeter head, while the helmet on the right is an XL for a 60 to 61 centimeter head. You can see there's a big difference in shell sizes, one of the reasons why this is an important factor to consider when fitting a helmet. Here's a peek at the SRC collar installed. It's an ingenious idea, and wouldn't it be nice if this was some type of standard that other helmet manufacturers could adopt? Don't count on it, though. Schuberth isn't likely to license it, and other manufacturers probably wouldn't adopt it anyway. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the C3 again, and after that we'll show you how the SRC collar installs. Be sure to read all the details on the helmet and the SRC in the full webbikeworld.com review. The face shield on the C3 has five or six detents, depending on who's counting. Schuberth says the first position is a city position for defogging, but it's difficult to distinguish on either one of these helmets, and the first position is a bit wide for simple defogging anyway. Otherwise, the face shield works well. It comes with an installed pin lock anti-fog insert also. The face shield also snaps closed, and it has right and left lift tabs. Ventilation is the same as the original C3 we reviewed, with a good chin vent and top venting system. The face shield is easy to remove, push the levers on both sides forward and it pops off, then insert both sides simultaneously and it snaps back on. Again, you can read all about this in our extended coverage of the Schuber C3 in the webbikeworld.com reviews. So now let's take a look at the Schuber SRC system. Here's a peek at the controls. Once the SRC collar is installed, these controls are used to operate the intercom system. They're nearly flush with the surface of the collar, which makes them a bit difficult to locate when wearing gloves. The SRC system is self-contained, with two speakers and a microphone built in, along with a battery and a charger receptacle for the charger. It's apparently made by Scala Rider, and Schuberth says that the SRC will communicate with Scala Rider intercoms, although we haven't confirmed that. Here's the C3 without the SRC system, and here's the SRC system itself. It's purchased separately and can fit any C3 along with the C2 in concept, which is great news for owners of those helmets. Note that the SRC comes in two sizes to accommodate the different shell sizes. There's not much to it because everything is contained in the collar, which makes installation and removal pretty easy. To install the SRC, first the original neck roll has to be removed. This fits under the lip at the bottom of the helmet shell, so just pull it out, then unsnap the neck roll at both sides on the front. Fit the speakers into the helmet, and all you have to do is reinstall the SRC collar. It takes a bit of fussing, but it's pretty easy actually. The SRC includes an FM radio, bike to bike, or passenger intercom system, and more. Here's a quick look at how the Schuber SRC system operates. It has a row of buttons on the left-hand side, but they're nearly flush with the neck roll and difficult to find when wearing gloves. So it's best to memorize the button functions and feel for the raised ridges between the buttons. Fortunately, once the system is paired and operating, you don't really have to access the buttons too often. By the way, the SRC has an attached USB cord used for charging the unit, and a wired MP3 player or other device can also be connected using the cord. The unit comes with a quick start guide in several languages and a full owner's manual, also printed in several languages. To start the system, press and hold the mobile button. Once the blue lights are flashing, it's ready to go. 
To put it in pairing mode, press and hold again. Now it can be paired with another helmet, another Cardo Scala Rider intercom, or another Bluetooth device. The plus and minus buttons raise and lower the volume, or turn on the RDS system, and the B button is used to cycle through the FM radio stations. They also function as the forward and rewind buttons for the MP3 device. The A and B buttons are used to communicate with other riders or passengers, and the mobile button is used to either place or receive a call. The system communicates with voice-activated cell phones, and you can also receive a call by speaking loudly into the microphone. That's all there is to it, really. The SRC system is easy to use and functions like most other motorcycle helmet Bluetooth systems. When we first started reviewing Bluetooth intercoms, the big news was if they worked at all and trying to figure out the obscure button sequences to get them to work. Now the functions have become standardized and the systems work as expected. So there's not much to report here, really. It works just like any other modern motorcycle helmet Bluetooth system. So that's a quick look at converting a Schuberth C3 to a C3 with the SRC Bluetooth intercom. Read all about it in the full review on webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.